after the film adaptation of Tolkien's book, The Hobbit, or There and Back Again, which became a trilogy for director Peter Jackson, many characters of this work gained immense popularity. Just think of the beautiful Thranduil, or the brave team of dwarves, fat, funny, brave warriors, and brave young men. Even the hermit mage Radagast with bird droppings in his beard, and he was remembered and loved by many. But, in my opinion, one character received undeservedly little attention and fame, and his name is Bjorn. I admit that when I read the book, The Hobbit, I remember him most of all, and he played a very important role in the story. So it is about Bjorn that I want to talk about in this video. So let's get started. The origin of Bjorn is not exactly known. According to one version, Bjorn was a descendant of the great ancient bears that inhabited the Misty Mountains before the giants came. According to another, which Gandalf believed to be the closest to the truth, he was descended from the first men who had lived in those lands before Smog and the other dragons came, and before the goblins who came from the north took over the hills. Regardless of his origins, however, Bjorn was a mortal man, though he possessed minor magical powers and could change his appearance into a bear. At the same time, no one cast spells on Bjorn, except for himself. Bjorn lived in a large wooden house in a grove of oak trees between the eastern bank of the Anjuin and the western edge of the Black Forest. Near the dwelling were bee pastures, mostly consisting of various types of clover. Bjorn's domain was surrounded by a high thorn hedge with a large gate made of wood. Behind the hedge were gardens, orchards, and a few low wooden buildings. There were also numerous rows of beehives. In human form, Bjorn looked like a tall, muscular man with thick black hair and beard. He wore a woolen tunic that reached to his knees. He had considerable strength. In the guise of an animal, he took the form of a huge black bear. He ate mainly cream and honey. He had the secret of making honey-based, twice-baked cakes, which could be kept for a long time and were very nutritious, although they were very thirsty. He did not eat meat from domestic animals, nor did he hunt or eat wild animals. Kept livestock on the farm. Spoke the language of animals. Bjorn was well acquainted with Radagast, who also preferred the company of beasts and birds to elves and men. Bjorn had very little contact with humans, was not polite, invited almost no one into his home, and had only a few friends. He spoke the common speech. He was well versed in the Misty Mountains and Mirkwood and the lore associated with them. Bjorn had no interest in gold, silver, or precious stones and did not even keep anything metal in the house, except for a few knives. In the 2941st year of the Third Age, a band of dwarves arrives at Bjorn's house with Gandalf and Bilbo Baggins. Bjorn disliked the dwarves, but had heard of Thorin Duboshield and respected him. Having learned about the dwarves' clash with goblins and wargs, their worst enemies, and having personally verified the truth of the story, Bjorn changes his attitude towards the dwarves for the better and decides to help the group with all his might. He provides them with food, bows and arrows, gives them advice about the Black Forest and the Enchanted Brook, invites them to his house on the way back, and does the group an unprecedented favor by letting them ride their ponies and horses to Mirkwood. In addition, in the guise of a bear, Bjorn himself secretly accompanies them on their journey to Mirkwood, guarding both travelers and animals. Bjorn learns of Smog's death before Thranduil's army has even set out. In the guise of a giant angry bear, he comes to the aid of dwarves, elves, and men in the Battle of the Five Hosts and turns the unfortunate tide of battle. Bjorn carried the mortally wounded Thorin out of the battle and then crushed the goblin leader Bog's retinue and killed him himself. After the battle, he returned to his home with Gandalf and Bilbo, who stayed with him until spring. He gave a great feast and summoned many people to it. Bjorn later became a great leader of men and ruled over the vast lands between the Misty Mountains and Mirkwood. He had a son named Grimbjorn. Many generations of Bjorn's descendants retained the ability to turn bear, though they had less strength and size and did not always prove to be as noble as Bjorn himself. It is interesting to note that in early versions, Bjorn did not enter the Battle of the Five Hosts alone, but at the head of a troop of bears. 
The motif of the bears obeying Bjorn remains in the published Hobbit. For example, on the night that the dwarves stayed in his house, Bjorn organized a general gathering to which many bears of various species came. One of the unexplained elements of Bjorn's character remains his spell. In the draft Tolkien writes, he has cast a spell on himself and can become a bear at will. Such a wish he is often, for long ago he was a friend of the great mountain bears who were driven out by the goblins. However, the theme of the spell was never fully realized in the final version of the book. In one of the plot outlines, Tolkien explicitly states, let the bear be under the spell. In another note, Tolkien recalls this motif and writes, the battle of the five hosts and the overcoming of Bjorn's spell. According to Ratliff, the idea behind these two separate remarks is nowhere clearly expressed. However, given the context, Bear slash Bjorn's change of personality and his behavior at the end of the book, it can be assumed that the overcoming of the spell and Bjorn's becoming leader of men are related. The exact nature of the spell and the circumstances of its overcoming remain unclear. Perhaps it is imposed by him. But in any case, Bjorn's role in the battle, the destruction of the goblin chief and his companions, clearly contributes in some way to the fulfillment of the unknown conditions for overcoming his spell. However, Bjorn retains the ability to change guise and passes it on to his descendants. Since Tolkien made it clear that Bjorn had already died by the time of the events of the Lord of the Rings, what remains unclear is the prophecy of Bjorn himself, spoken by him in the guise of a bear in the bear tongue. The day will come when the goblins will perish and I will return. Whether the fates of Bjorn's human and bear guises could have differed is nowhere indicated in the texts.